give the best clap of praise to our Lord. Hallelujah. Is that what excited people of God can give to our can give to our Lord? The best clap of praise. The best clap of praise. Hallelujah. Let's all go around. Let's shake each other's hands. Let's welcome each other because we're so excited to be in the presence of the Lord with our friends and family in Christ. Let's sing I love. I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands and raise my voice. I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands and raise my voice. You set my feet to dancing. You fill my heart with song. You give me reason to rejoice. Rejoice. I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands and raise my voice. I love to be, I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands and raise. One more time, I love to be, I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands, lift my hands, lift my hands and raise my voice. I lift my hands, lift my hands, lift my hands and raise my voice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we give God the best clap of praise? Yes, so Lord, honor to you. Glory belongs to you, Lord. Praises belongs to you alone. And here we are standing in awe of your presence, Lord. We have come, Lord, to gather here once again to praise you and to worship you, to listen to your word. Yes, so Lord, in the life of all your people, search our hearts, search our minds, that if you see any sins, that if you see any iniquities, Lord, may you continue to ask for your forgiveness. Cleanse us from within. Lord, renew our minds and restore our souls. Our hearts, Lord, belongs to you alone. And Lord, we continue to uh, be grateful for today that you have gathered us here, that you have uh, 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 come to see us, Lord. And here we are to listen, to continually uh to know you more and more, to seek you in our midst today. Yes, O Lord, yes, O Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we glorify your name. Yes, O Lord. And Lord, before we start this, we continually, Lord, offer our lives, offer our lives unto you, that if you, Lord, see any hindrances, we continually remove it, you continually remove it in the mighty name of Jesus, any spirits that doesn't belong to you, we rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Sleepiness, laziness, lack of interest in the mighty name of Jesus. Any technical difficulties, Lord, any internet problems, yes, so Lord, we rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, so Lord, any spirits that doesn't belong to you, we rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we continue to invite the Holy Spirit to fall afresh in our hearts. We continue to invite the Holy Spirit to fall down in this, in this sanctuary, yes. Yes, so Lord. For this is your temple. Our body is your temple. We continue to invite you to fill us up that we may experience your power, experience your presence, experience your healing, experience, Lord, your deliverance today, tonight. Yes, so Lord, that in the life of our preacher, continue to be with her in the life of Sister Marian del Rosario. That every word that comes from her mouth will be the words that you have planted in her hearts. Yes, so Lord, that every word that comes from her mouth will be the will, will continue to give us the strength that we need that will comfort us give us peace to continually lord uh, understand more of you and lord as we listen help us to continually listen with understanding not just to hear but to listen with understanding that we may apply all the words 
all what we have what we will be listening to every day that we will meditate it day and night yes so lord we are thankful and we are grateful for everything that you will be doing today as we bring back to you all the glory honor praises and adoration this is our prayer in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen 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 truly our god is a wonderful god amen do we believe that church amen amen and today we are going to sing of his marvelous love in this place hallelujah let's worship our god today amen no other God like you, who made the heavens and the earth, who fills my heart with joy unending. And all I can do is give my life, offer to you a sacrifice, here is my heart for you unending. Oh, all of my life. All of my life belongs to you alone. Of every breath, my soul will rise to you. You are the joy of every nation, the giver of salvation, wonderful God. Oh, you are. You God throughout the ages, enthroned upon our praises, wonderful God. Oh, every morning, and every morning when I rise, oh, it is your presence I desire, see your faithfulness unending. Amen. For in your presence, for in your presence, I am free. I put my trust in you unending. Oh, and all of my life, all of my life belongs to you alone. And every breath that I have, of every breath, my song will rise to you. All of my life, all let's declare this life. church belongs to you alone and my every breath i give it to you of every breath my song will rise to you and you are the joy of every nation the giver of salvation wonderful god and you are the god throughout the Ages enthroned upon our praises, wonderful God, oh, you are, you are the joy of every nation, a giver of salvation, wonderful God, oh, Jesus, you are the God throughout the ages enthroned upon our praises wonderful God you are wonderful God and only a God like you only a God like you can be worthy of my praise and all my hope and faith to only a king of all kings to I bow my knee and sing Give my everything, only a God like you can be worthy of my praise and all my joy. To only a King of Kings, a King of a King. Do I bow my knee and sing? Give my everything to only my Maker, my Father, my Savior, Redeemer, Restorer, Rebuilder, Rewarder. To only a God like you. To I give my praise to only my maker, the God who can heal. To only my maker, my father, my savior, redeemer, restorer, rebuilder, rewarder. To only a God like you, 
do I give my praise once again to only my maker, to only my maker, my father, my savior, redeemer, restorer, rebuilder, rewarder, to only a God like you, do I give my praise, oh, do I give my praise. God, like you, Lord, we give my we give our praise. I give my praise to only a God like you, to our great God, our great and wonderful God, who alone brings healing, who gives joy, who allows us to worship freely with no limitations. Lord, all we want to do is give you praise, is to bring you praise, to tell you how great you are, how worthy are you of all our worship and adoration. Oh, Jesus, we adore you. to explain Shout your praise, and all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will 
on church let's give the highest praise the highest honor the highest glory to our god the name jesus the name that is above all names come on let's give him praise let's give him glory for you are worthy lord you are worthy oh god of all our praises oh hallelujah 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 oh we thank you lord hallelujah for your mighty and powerful presence oh god that is in our midst oh god that indeed lord you are with us lord we thank you lord hallelujah for your great love oh lord upon each one of us allowing us once again oh lord to declare oh lord that you are our great god you are our faithful awesome loving magnificent god hallelujah hallelujah indeed lord words is not even enough oh lord to describe of who you are hallelujah in our life in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus lord we thank you for loving us unconditionally thank you lord for pouring out oh lord hallelujah your powerful presence oh god in our hearts lord we thank you we thank you lord for everything that you have done oh god we thank you lord hallelujah even lord for for, for your cleansing power oh god upon each one of us tonight that as we worship you and in spirit and in truth oh god i believe lord that you have already take away oh lord all our sins oh god and you remember our sins no more oh lord thank you lord for this confidence that we can always come unto you calling upon the name of our lord jesus christ the most powerful name yes oh hallelujah 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 and with a grateful heart oh god once again, Lord, we are lifting up to you this night of power. That without your presence, Lord, in our life, we cannot do anything. That's why it is our prayer, Lord, to continually pour out, oh Lord, your presence, your power, oh God, upon each one of us tonight, oh God. Saturate every heart and every mind of your people. Give us, Lord, a spirit of understanding so that your words, O oh Lord, will continually transform our life from faith to faith, glory to glory. Lord, help us, O oh God, to put our faith in you and to trust in your words tonight, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And it is our prayer, Lord, to continually bring us, O oh Lord, into a new level, O oh God of faith, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray for all your people, O oh God, that you have already opened the hearts, O oh God, of your people to receive your very words tonight. That you will give them, Lord, a receptive heart, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that upon preaching of your words, O oh Lord, we claim, Lord, that there will be signs, wonders, and miracles is going to happen in our life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as I delivered your words, O oh God, continue, Lord, to hide me under the power of your cross. And let your name alone be exalted upon my life. That you have already anointed, O oh Lord, my lips, O oh God. And allow me only to say the words that you want me to say. And do not allow, Lord, the words that you don't want me to say in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in advance, O oh God, for the victory that you have set before us. And tonight, O oh Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, for your divine covering of the holy blood of Jesus upon this place. And as we continually declare that Jesus is Lord over this place and over our life, no works and walls of the enemy can distract us in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, O oh God, that you would already bless each one of us, especially for your very words, O oh God. Father, we thank you and we bless you. This is all we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Parang di na ko nakita. Praise God. Sige po, let us all be seated in the very presence of our God.
Praise God. So a blessed good evening po to everyone. Sige po, batiin po natin ang ating mga kapatid. I'm blessed that you are here tonight. And of course po, i-wave po natin ang ating kamay sa ating pong mga kapatid. Those who are uh, joining with us, worshiping with us via live stream. Amen. A blessed good evening po to everyone. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So who among us here? No, committed themselves to join in our 21 days prayer and fasting. Can I hear no, your amen? Praise the Lord. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang ating pong Panginoon. Amen? Amen. So we just start our prayer and fasting yesterday, no, July 14, and it will end up on August 3. Amen? So let us expect from the Lord that God is going to do amazing things. Amen? Are we all excited? Amen. So we are declaring our JL anniversary. Amen. A tremendous outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Hindi nyo na ako nakikita dyan, no? Praise God. So we are declaring a tremendous no, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. As the Bible declares, amen, in the book of Acts chapter 1, no, chapter 2 verse 17, no, that in the last days, Amen. I will pour, the Lord said, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Kasama po tayo doon. Amen. The Lord is going to pour out his spirit not to all people. So I believe the very heart of God, no? He wants us all to experience a tremendous outpouring that the Lord has prepared to each and every one of us. Amen. Kaya I believe po tayo pong lahat, no, we are all in the spirit of expectancy that the Lord is going to release that tremendous outpouring. Amen. But in the same way po, I, I, I remember po when Pastora Anna meet us, no, sa amin pong CMT meeting, no, she has that heart, desire, a prayer to the Lord, no, that the Jael North Calgary and all the people who will come to worship our God, Amen. On the day of our anniversary, no, her, her prayer, her desire, no, that all of us will truly experience that tremendous outpouring of thy Holy Spirit, no, corporately and even personally. No, yun po yung prayer po ng ating pong minamahal na pastora. So, samahan po natin, no, ang kanya pong panalangin, ang kanyang heart desire, no, that the Jael uh, North Calgary will really experience that. Amen. We are not just declaring, but most importantly, we will experience it personally and corporately. Can I hear an amen? And I believe not to be able to experience that, one way is to join our united or our 21 days prayer and fasting. Kaya po mga minamahal kong mga kapatid, sa mga hindi pa po nag-sign up, mag-sign up na po kayo kay Lord. Hello? Amen po ba tayo doon? That's why tonight, allow me to share the very word of the Lord that God has placed into my heart and I entitled it, United Prayer and Fasting. No? In the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18, it says, no, in the Amplified Version, And whenever you are fasting, do not look gloomy. Tignan mo nga yung katabi kung gloomy siya. Hindi siya gloomy, bloomy siya. Amen? Blooming. <laughs> Hindi siya nagdidilim, kundi siya ay nagliliwanag. Hello? Kahit iyan ay pagod, hindi siya gloomy kundi siya ay bloomy. Amen? Siya ay blooming. Amen? Sabi po dyan, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they put on a sad no, and dismal face like actors, discoloring their faces with ashes or dirt so that their fasting may be seen by men. So I assure you and most solemnly say to you, they already have their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head as you normally would to groom your hair and wash your face so that your fasting will not be noticed by people but by your father who is no who is in secret and your father who sees 
what is done in secret will reward you. May the Lord will continually add blessing upon the reading of His mighty and powerful words. Amen? So why is passing important to God? What do you think? Why is it passing is important to our God? It says there, fasting releases God's supernatural power. Amen? So it is a tool we can use when there is opposition to God's will. Alam niyo po si Taning, talagang laging nag-aabang yan. Amen? The enemy has come to steal, to kill, and destroy. Amen? Satan no, would like nothing better than to cause division. Yan po ang trabaho ng kaaway, mag-cause po ng division. Sabing 21, may gumawa seven days lang. Amen? So discouragement defeats depression and doubt among us. Marami pa pong iba na gusto pong gawin ng kaaway sa buhay mo at sa buhay ko. But the enemy cannot do anything in our life. Can I hear an amen? Because united prayer and fasting has always been used by God to deal a decisive blow to the enemy. Amen? And I believe there is power and unity in approaching God as the Bible clearly says in the book of Psalms 133, verse 1 to 3. Napakaganda po ng sinabi po dyan ng ating pong Panginoon. In the Amplified Version, it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Kaya po yung unity, napaka-importante po niyan. Amen po ba? So it is like the precious oil no, of consecration poured out on the head, coming down on the beard. No? Alam niyo po, nung binabasa ko po ito, napangiti po ako sa Panginoon, kahit po pala yung balbas, kayang i-anoint ni Lord. Hello? Ganun po kabuti si Lord, ano? Amen? Talagang tremendous outpouring. Amen? So coming down upon the edge of His priestly robes, consecrating the whole body. Amen? Talagang from top to bottom. Yun ang yung nais ng Lord na maranasan po ng bawat isa po sa atin. Amen. So it says there, it is like the dew of Mount Hermon coming down on the hills of Zion. For there, the Lord has commanded the blessings life forevermore. Amen. So united prayer in fasting, there is a tremendous outpouring of God's blessing. Napakalinaw. Amen po ba? United prayer and fasting, there is a tremendous outpouring of God's blessing. So we need to be united as one in Christ. Can I hear an amen? Dapat po, we will take this opportunity, magkaisa po tayo in this 21 days prayer and fasting to really commit ourselves, devote ourselves. Sabi ko nga po, we will not just declaring no, for that tremendous outpouring but we want really to experience it personally. Amen. And one of the key is to be consecrated. Amen. To have a consecrated life, a holy life. As Joshua chapter 3 verse 5, it says, Sabi po dyan, then Joshua told the people, Make yourself holy. No, consecrate yourselves because tomorrow, the Lord will do amazing things miraculous things among His people. Amen? The Lord wanted us to be holy. So it is really important to understand what is exactly fasting all about. Amen? Kaya kailangan maintindihan po natin para magawa po natin ito ng tama. Amen po ba? So if you have attended church for a while, you probably heard the word fasting. Amen po ba? So when I say the word fasting, what comes to mind? No? Ano po yung pumapasok sa isip mo? Nako, magugutom ako dyan. Ayoko niyan. Kaya nga fasting, di ba? So you may think of a religious activities, no? Or activity. 
Or you may think, no, there's no way that I could do that. Hindi ko kaya yan, Sister Marian, may sakit ako. E di lalong kailangan mong mag-fasting. Hello? Or you may think, no, hindi para sa akin yan. Para lang yan sa win, sa mga pastor, sa mga life group leaders. Maaring ganon yung iniisip natin. Hello? Not for me. Hindi sa akin yan, no? So remember, the promise, there is a reward. Amen? So, but what, is, but what is exactly fasting all about? Why do we do it? Or how do we do it? And what are, the, and what are some biblical example of fasting? So what is fasting? Sabi po dyan, Fasting is essentially giving up food, amen, or something else for a period of time in order to focus. Can you say it with me? Focus. Hindi focus sa pagkain, ha? Focus kay Lord. Amen? Focus po dun sa, sa gagawin ng Panginoon. Amen? Focus your thoughts on God. Kasi this mind is the battleground. The enemy wants to distract our mind. We have that desire, but the enemy is trying to distract us. That's why, no, my beloved brothers and sisters, I encourage you all to really focus our eyes unto Jesus. Focus our thoughts unto Jesus. Amen. So while fasting, we can read our Bible. No? Kailangan po habang tayo po yung nagpapas, magbasa po tayo ng salitahan ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? We can worship our God. We can pray. We can commune with God, pouring out our hearts unto the Lord during our fasting. Instead of eating, no, we need to pray. Amen po ba tayo doon? So fasting is found throughout the Old and New Testament of the Bible over 50 times. Amen. So biblically, fasting is mentioned in both no, the Old and New Testament. So in the New Testament and the Old Testament, it was often a way of, of expressing grief. Ito yung panahon na talagang lahat, every, everything that is inside of us, every grief. No, every struggles na meron po tayo, ito yung time that we can really pour out to our God. Amen. Hindi sa kaibigan mo, hindi sa ibang tao, at lalong hindi sa Facebook, kundi sa atin pong Panginoon. Can I hear an amen? So, or a means of humbling ourselves or oneself before the Lord. No? Tayo po ay magpakumbaba no, sa presensya ng ating pong Panginoon. That we will act, we acknowledge that apart from the Lord, we cannot do anything. Hindi po natin kayang labanan. No, ang gawa ng kaaway without the very presence of our God in our, in our life. Amen po ba? So in the, in the book of Psalms 35 verse 13, it says, David humbled himself with fasting. Amen. It says there, But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. Amen. Morning garments. Kasi nung panahon po na yun, no, kapag, uh, kapag sila po ay nagpa-fast, they are wearing something po, yung garment. no. So, pero sa panahon po natin ngayon, hindi na po siya ganon. Amen. So, ang sabi po dyan, I humbled my soul with fasting and I prayed with my head bow on my chest. Amen. In the Amplified Version. So in the New Testament, it was a, it was a means not to grow closer to God through mediating and focusing on Him. Amen. Kaya nga, di po ba, I believe lahat po tayo dito, may mga ipinagpipray po tayo. We are praying in behalf of our families, in behalf of our church, in behalf of other peoples. We are mediator, standing on the gaff in behalf of these people. Hello? And focusing on Him. Amen? So in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, Jesus went to the wilderness to fast for 40 days. Amen? Sino po yung nakapag-try na pong mag-fast ng 40 days? Wala pa? Praise God. 
So ang sabi po dito, then Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit. Notice the word led by the Holy Spirit. In the amplified version actually po, no? Into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. No? So we want to make sure that our prayer in fasting must be led, no? By the Holy Spirit as our text warns us. Amen? Kailangan po, led by the Holy Spirit. You are not just go with the flow, but you are driven by the Holy Spirit. You are led by the Holy Spirit. Iba po kasi yon kapag ang banal na Espiritu ang nangunguna po sa ating, sa ating pong pananalangin at pag-aayuno. Iba po yon. You will truly experience that supernatural power from the Lord. Amen? Praise God, praise God. So in the book of Matthew chapter 6, no, ito po yung text po natin. In our text, we also see Jesus giving us some instructions on how we should pass. Paano po ba natin gagawin? No, or ginagawa po yung pagpapas in Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. That we aren't look to look somewhere while fasting so that it is not obvious to others when we are fasting. So Jesus said we should be forceful in our fasting. Diba? Maganda po na yung ating pong pagpapas talagang may purpose. And that is to glorify our God, not only no, to experience the tremendous outpouring, no? But we honor our God, we glorify God in our life. So we should, we should have that integrity because this is what Jesus was talking about. Amen? We shouldn't draw attention to ourselves when we are fasting in order to make people think that we are more spiritual. Amen? So ideally, the only ones who should know that you are fasting are you and God. It is between you and the Lord. No? The moment that you commit yourself to do this 21 days prayer and fasting, you really commune with God. No? And ask for His abiding presence. Divine enablement. Sabi ko nga po sa mga win. That we really need to have that divine enablement of the Holy Spirit so that we can do this 21 days prayer in fasting. Amen? So additionally, we should be fasting for a spiritual purpose. No, We shouldn't be doing it in order to lose weight or punish ourselves in some way. Amen? So because fasting without prayer, it is not fasting. That is dieting. Hello? Pag walang prayer, hindi po yun fasting. Nagda-diet ka lang. O gusto mo lang parusahan yung sarili mo kasi marami kang kinain na litsyon. Nung nakaraang linggo, kaya ngayon di ako kakain. Hindi po ganun, ha? Hello? So throughout the New Testament, fasting and prayer are often mentioned together in the book of Acts, no, chapter, thir- ch- chapter 1, no, chapter 13, verse 3. They had fasted and prayed. No? Sabi po dyan, while they were serving the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, no? for the work to which I have called them. So before they were being sent, no? so they led, laid their hands no? on them in approval and dedication and sent them away on their first journey. Amen? So another one in the Bible, in the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 37, a widow worshipped day and night, no? Fasting and praying. Anong sabi diyan? Sa ano po, dito po sa Luke chapter 2 verse 37. Sabi po, and then was a widow until she was 84. Can you imagine that? 84. Kaya sabi mo sa yung katabi, wala yan sa edad. Sige, lakasan mo pa. Wala yan sa edad, kapatid. Kasi minsan iniisip natin, matanda na ako, kayo na lang yan. Bata pa ako, di lalong mas kailangan mo, di ba? Ang, ang liwanag, oh, sabi po, she never left the temple but worship night and day. Amen. Fasting and praying. Amen. Napakalinaw. Amen. So following the example of Jesus and the early church believers, we too can draw near to God 
while fasting. Amen? There is a quotation po na nakuha ko po, no? From Wesley Jewell. Sabi po dyan, fasting in the biblical sense is choosing not to partake of food because your spiritual hunger is so deep. You determination in intercession so intense. No? Or your spiritual warfare so man, so demanding that you have temporarily set aside even fleshly needs to give yourself to prayer and meditation. Amen. So gaano po ka intense yung ating pong prayer? Nagbabaga ba? Hello? Nagpasting ba talaga kayo? Parang seryoso lang ah. Amen. So you have the choice to change your life, no? By a simple or by, or by a major decision tonight. Amen. So it is fully within your ability to make this choice. So the choice is all yours. Sabi mo nga sa yung katabi, the choice is all yours. Amen. Sa mga hindi pa po nakapagpas, at sa mga medyo hindi masyadong maliwanag sa kanya, why do we really need to do this 21 days prayer and fasting? Baka iniisip ninyo, pinapahirapan kayo ni Pastora Ana. May nag-iisip po ba noon? Prayer puli, wala naman. Dahil lahat naman po tayo dito ay totoong born again. Can I hear one amen? Sige nga po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen? So, it is within us the ability to make the choice. Amen? And absolutely, within God's power to give you the strength for that sacrifice. Amen? So, fasting and prayer, if faithfully done, will alter your ex existence. Amen? It strengthen your spiritual life and bring your life on this earth into God's perspective. Gusto ng Panginoon na mag-level up yung ating faith mag-level up yung ating pagmamahal sa Panginoon at higit sa lahat, mag-level up yung ating pong service to the Lord. Can I hear an amen? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So tonight, allow me to share to you some of many ways no, prayer and fasting can change our life. Number one po, no, fasting and prayer can help us hear from God. No? Jeremiah 33 verse 3 in the NIV version, it says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Amen? So for those who truly know Jesus, how could you ever resist that appeal? No? You have been invited to call to Him with prayer and fasting. What a privilege! Hello? Paano naging privilege yun, Sister Maria? Hindi ako kakain ng 21 days. No? What a privilege to be invited. No? With, it, with that call. No? His word says that He will tell us things we do not know. Kasi hindi naman talaga natin lahat alam. But I do believe that through this 21 days prayer and fasting, the Lord is going to open our spiritual mind, spiritual heart, spiritual being in order for us to see the spiritual, no, the heavenly things that God has prepared to all of us so that we will have that excitement no, to the Lord. Hello? He will tell us the things that we do not know. And if you want deeper intimacy with God, then I encourage you to enter into a sacrificial move no, in time where you can seek Him like never before. Amen? Sapagat anong sabi ng Panginoon that if we seek me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, then I will be fine, bound by you. Sabi ng Lord, Amen po ba? Lahat po, no, nang tumawag sa Panginoon or nag sa tawag ng Lord, God will never disappoint us. 
because He is our faithful God. Amen? Sige, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. If I may ask you tonight, when is the last time you, know, you call upon His name in prayer and fasting? No? I believe this is the best time to hear no, the call of God. Kaya lang minsan, ini-ignore po natin. Parang yung isa dyan. Kahit naririnig yung tawag, no? hindi, parang wala lang. Amen. Sana po hindi tayo ganun kay Lord. Can I hear one? Amen. Dapat po isang tawag lang ng Panginoon, dinig na dinig mo agad. Amen? So when is the last time? This is the best time. no? Not later, not tomorrow, but today. Today is the best time. Amen? Now is the time. Can I hear one? Amen. Pangalawang bagay po, no? Ways fasting can change our life. Marami po ito, no? Seeking God's direction. Amen? In the book of Exodus chapter 34, verse 28, Moses was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights without eating bread. Sino yung mahilig kumain ng tinapay? Or drinking water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant the Ten Commandments. Can you imagine that? No? In order for Moses to receive the Ten Commandments, no? Hindi siya kumain ng 40 days, hindi rin siya uminom. Amen? So Moses fasted no, with the Lord for 40 days, leaning on God's for direction, wisdom, and guidance, and writing the Ten Commandments. Amen. Ganun po kahalaga. Amen. So, this is known as one of the supernatural absolute fasts in the Bible where Moses went 40 days without eating or drinking. It's leveled supernatural or sometimes miraculous since that is quite dangerous normally and he was sustained miraculously only by God during the time. So God not only sustained Moses during his past, but also gave, gave him wisdom and direction. Amen? So I do not know what is in your heart tonight. What is your heartfelt prayer? Do we have that heartfelt prayer to the Lord? Or your heart's desire? No, I remember the life of King Solomon. Amen? In the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verse 7 to 10. Amen. Sino pong nakakakilala kay King Solomon? Amen. When King Solomon went up to the bronze altar before the Lord in the tent of meeting and offered a thousand burnt offering on it, the Lord asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Ang sarap nun, di po ba? Pag tinanong tayo ni Lord, Ano bang gusto mong gawin ko sa'yo? Ano kayang maiisip ninyo? Siguro hindi tayo magkandamayaw, ano? Pag gano'n ang tanong ng Panginoon. No? Sabi po dito, You have shown great kindness to David my father and have made me king in his place. Now the Lord, no, God, let your promise to my father David be confirmed for you, have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. So ano po yung hiningi po ni King Solomon in verse 10? Give me wisdom and knowledge that I may lead these people for who is able to govern this great people of yours? Can you imagine that? Yun lang po, yun po yung prayer po ni King Solomon, yung hiningi ni King Solomon sa Panginoon. Wisdom and knowledge. I remember po, yesterday, nagkaroon kami ng Bible study sa Canmore. Nag-share po yung ating kapatid. Sabi niya, meron daw pong part sa US, no, na, ang tawag dito, yung bang, hindi, uh, pag nagnakaw ng 500 below, Kailangan 500 below, no? Eh hindi makukulong o hindi huliin ng pulis. And then, ito na nga, nagpunta sila sa isang store, may nakita dong si brother, no? Na kumuha ng karne, lumabas na lang, hindi nagbayad. No? Parang, alam nyo po yun, yung sabi nga, parang yung batas na yon, yung law na yon, parang nasan dun yung wisdom, ano? Parang nasan ang hustisya, parang ganun. No? 
Kaya na nag-wonder siya, sabi niya, bakit yung nagtataka siya, yung kahit yung mga maliliit na na item, nakalak. No? Parang ang hirap yata ng ganun, di po ba? Buti na lang wala po dito sa Canada noon. Amen? So napakahalaga po noon yung wisdom. Yes, totoo po, meron daw po, meron po yun sa US. No? Yun po yun. Ba't ba tayo napunta doon? Amen? So wisdom. So number three, no, another thing, to humble oneself before God, fasting for humility. Amen? Sabi po dyan, Ezra chapter 8, verse 21 to 23, I proclaim a past so that we might humble ourselves before our God and ask Him for a safe journey for us and our children with all our possessions. So we fasted and petitioned our God about this. And He answered our prayer. Amen? So here, fasting was a means to humility. It was a way to humble themselves before the Lord as they sought Him in prayer for protection. Amen? So they fasted, humbly, no? Prayer, uh, prayed fiercely, and God answered. Amen? Kaya po, alam nyo po talagang napakahalaga po nito, no? Yung, yung, des, yung, yung humility. Our humbleness. Yung talagang makita natin, no, we acknowledge of who God is in our life, that apart from Him, we cannot do anything. Amen? We really need the power of God. We really need His guidance. Amen? We really need His wisdom in our life. That's why we need to humble down ourselves before the Lord. Amen? So pang-apat po, no, that ways fasting can change our life to seek deliverance. No? We need to Fasting for freedom, no? Fasting for freedom. Ang sabi po dito in the, in the book of Isaiah 58 verse 6, Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and unite the cords of the yoke to set the offerings free and break every yoke? Amen? So the purpose of fasting is so much deeper than the simply giving up food for a while. Amen? It is not just an outward practice, but an inner transformation. Amen? Yung magkaroon talaga ng pagbabago within. Within. So it's about addressing the deep, no? Ugly sins of your life, untying the cords of the yoke, and breaking free. No? I do not know what kind of struggle you may have in your life. I do not know. Only God knows. Amen? What kind of deliverance you may have? You may be praying to the Lord. Amen. So I do not know, but the Lord wanted us to be delivered. Amen. Deliverance from all kinds of bandages, such as addiction, no? From drugs, all kinds of vices, including nicotine. Amen. Wala naman pong naninigaril yun na dito. Amen po ba? And alcohol, using internet, watching TV, pornography, or video gaming, all kinds of social media including TikTok. Parang hindi ka mabubuhay ng walang TikTok. No? Material things, foods, no? drinking kopi, kailangan din po natin ma-delivered sa pag-inom ng kape. Kasama po ako dyan. Pero alam niyo po yon. Diba, lalo na kapag kaping barako. Masarap talaga. Tumatawa kayo, pero totoo po yun. Amen? Kaya po, mag maganda po itong fasting. Amen? Exercise. Wala ka nang ginawa kundi mag-exercise. No? Wala po nothing wrong about it. Pero kung yun na lang yung buhay mo, eh, there's something wrong. Amen? We also need to be delivered, working or overwork. Yung tatlo ang job, dalawa, di na natutulog. Kailangan din natin ma-deliver dyan. Hello? <laughs> Marami pang iba. Amen? The Bible promised us in the book of Psalms 34 verse 17, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Amen? So as the Bible clearly says, when the sun sets you free, 
You are free indeed. Amen? Amen po ba? So I believe the Lord is going to reveal it unto us. What are the things that needs to be delivered in our life? What are the things that needs no, to be surrendered unto the Lord? Tayo po ay binahagunahan ng Panginoon at patuloy na binabago ng Panginoon. Can I hear one amen? So number five, fasting and pray, prayer can reveal our hidden sin. Ang sabi po ng Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 17, My eyes are, all, are, are on all their ways. They are not hidden from me, nor is their sin concealed from my eyes. No, God can see our sins. Amen. Nothing is hidden from the Lord. Amen. Nothing is hidden from His sight because He is He is omnipresent God. Di po ba? Our God is everywhere. Wala po tayong pwedeng itago sa ating pong Panginoon. The Lord wants us to really confess that sin, even that hidden sin, even that small sin. In order for us to experience that tremendous outpouring that God has prepared to each and every one of us. Amen? Kaya exciting po talaga ito. Amen? So we have found that frequently, the harder sins to acknowledge are the hidden ones. Especially when they involve our motives and attitude. Amen? So when we fast and pray, we are taking time away from a meal or an activity to devote our inner being to focus on God. So we find we are more sensitive to the voice of God, more attuned to hearing what He has to reveal to us. Amen? Gently God whispers in our mind what we were really thinking at the time, no? Of our sins what our true intent was, and we are shocked no, momentarily. Kahit pala yung pinakasikretong, sikretong, sikretong, walang katapusang sikreto, kaya po yung i-expose ng Panginoon when you have a right heart. Do you agree with me? Kasi gusto ng Lord, talagang consecrated life, a holy life. And I believe this is now the best time to really say yes unto God. I will surrender it, Lord. Amen? Amen po ba? So even though our recognition makes us want to hide our face, so our loving Savior lifts our chin to look into His forgiveness eyes. Amen? As we repent, we no longer want to hide but to praise and worship the very one who confronted our wrong. Kaya nga, di ba, to whom God's love, He discipline. Hello? Hindi po para tayo po ipahiya, kundi tayo po ay para magkaroon po tayo ng tunay na transformation. Because the Bible clearly says in the book of Proverbs 28 verse 13, he who conceals his sin will not prosper, but who confesses and renounces it, he will find mercy. Remember, our God is so gracious, compassionate, loving, and forgiving God. Amen. Ganun po kabuti ang ating pong Panginoon. Can I hear an amen? That's why my number six, no? The Lord encourages people to return to Him. With repentance. Yung talagang full repentance. Yung hindi ka na, yung, yung hindi ka na, ano ba sa Tagalog nun? Yung, yung hindi ka nagkukunwari. Amen? Sabi po dyan in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 12, Even now, declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Amen? Return to me. What a powerful praise no, coming from our Almighty God. Ganun po ka-gentle lang ating Panginoon. No, na kahit we are undeserving, 
We are not worthy because of so many shortcomings, weaknesses that we have done before the Lord. And yet, the Lord inviting us, Return to me, my child. Return to me, my son, my daughter. Amen. Ganun po, kagrabe yung love ng Lord. Amen. So this was a call to repentance for the people to return to God's mercy and steadfast love. Kaya nga, di po ba, 1 John 1.9, that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Kailangan maging totoo lang yung, yung puso mo sa Panginoon. Amen? Walang halong plastic or orokan. Tupperware, di ba? Kundi talagang genuine repentance. Kasi alam naman yan, mararamdaman yan ng Lord eh. Kung totoo yung ating pong pagsisisi. And one of the ways to show their truly repentant heart was through fasting and prayer. Amen? Even here in the Old Testament, God was not asking for the act of fasting alone. Amen? Fasting was a way to show that they desired to return to God with all their hearts. Amen? That's why by number seven, mabilis na lamang po ito. Amen? Fasting and prayer can strengthen your intimacy with God. Amen? In Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17, it says, The Lord your God is with you. The mighty warrior who saves, who saves, he will take great delight in you and his love, he will no longer rebuke you but will rejoice over, over you with singing. Amen. So as you remain consistent in prayer and fasting, you no, know, over time, you will crave more quiet time alone with your heavenly Father. Kung dati, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, ngayon, nag spend ka na ng isang oras. Dalawang oras. Because you are enjoying, no? The very powerful presence of God. Like King David. Amen po ba? In Psalms 42 verse 1, it says, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. The more you know of God, the more you want Him. Lord, I want more of you. Parang ayaw mo nang tapusin. Katulad po nung mga nag-EGR. No? Victory proclamation na, ayaw pang umuwi. Sana all. Diba? Sana laging ganon. Hindi po pwedeng sabihin na sana laging may EGR. Mauubos ang pera nyo. Mahawa tayo kay pastor. Di ba? Kada matapos ang EGR, nawawalan siya ng boses. We can also experience that. Kahit na walang EGR, in your personal, in your personal devotion with the Lord, mararanasan mo yung, yung presensya ng Panginoon. No? Passing in prayer is a great catalyst to create an insatiable hunger for God's presence and you will enter into a place of deep intimacy with our Lord. Amen? Yung talagang iba na yung level no? ng relasyon mo sa Panginoon. Kung dati sensitive ka, ngayon hindi na kasi natuto ka na. Hello? Di po ba? Marami nang itunuro ang Panginoon sa iyo, sa iyong prayer. Sa mga salita ng Panginoon. Maraming itinuro ang Panginoon dahil nag-grow na yung relationship mo sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Gusto na po ba nating mag-fasting lahat? Pwede pa, hindi pa huli ang lahat. Pangalawang araw pa lang ngayon, kapatid. Amen? Pangwalong bagay po, grow and spiritual strength. In the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 2, after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he, Jesus, was hungry. Amen. Jesus fasted for 40 days. Alam po natin yung on, di po ba? No, yung tinam siya ni Satan. But because he was being endued with the Holy Spirit, walang nagawa ang kaaway sa buhay niya. Amen. Grabe po yung spiritual level ng ating pong Panginoong Jesus. 
At ganun din po yung gusto ng Lord na mangyari sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Talagang you will be strong spiritually, not just only physically, but in all kinds, all, all areas of your life. Amen? Para kapag dumating ang kaaway, any temptations may come in our life. No? We can overcome. Because more than 2,000 years ago, God overcame it. Our Lord Jesus Christ overcame it. Amen? Sige, palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. So he wasn't relying, no? Hindi po nag-rely ang Panginoon sa sarili niya. But he relies on God, the fathers. Amen? During his fast, he relies on God's word. Amen. Kaya po, napakahalaga po talagang basahin natin ang salita ng Panginoon. I remember, ulit, ulit po kahapon ulit sa aming Bible study, tinuro po ng ating kapatid ang the importance of reading the Bible. Talagang nakakatuwa po because they had that hungerness no, in, our, in their hearts. Nagtatanong talaga, naging, naging ano nga yung Bible study namin eh, parang uh, interaction. No? Talagang nagtatanong sila kung saan mag-uumpisang magbabasa. Kung ilan ang babasahin bawat araw, ganun po sila ka-ano, ka-hunger. Amen. Kaya ipag-pray po natin, talagang we really encourage them to attend our anniversary. Meron na po tayong hal, uh, five family in Canmore for the glory of God. Sige, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Nakakatuwa po. Meron na po tayong apat na consistent family doon. Grabe, talagang napaka- napaka Amazing po ang Panginoon, truly that our God is alive, that out of nothing God can create something because He is our all-powerful God. Amen? Praise God, ganun po kabuti ang Lord. So fasting can strengthen us spiritually when we choose to stand on God's Word. Amen? Hindi ka lang nagpipray, nagpapas, nagbabasa ka pa ng salita ng Panginoon. Amen? So number 10 po, Fasting and prayer can teach us to pray with right motives. Ah, magpa-fasting ako, Sister Marian. Marami akong ihingin kay Lord. Amen? Make sure that our motives is right. In the book of James chapter 4, verse 3, When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. The more you focus on your prayer time, pressing in, pressing in with heightened sensitivity, through the sacrifice of fasting, your will aligns God. Amen? So no longer are you praying with wrong motives, but a petitioning the Lord with a heart of worship, gratitude, and an outward vision that cares for the needs of others. Amen? Kaya 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15, tell us that we can have confidence then as we approach God, Knowing that if we ask anything according to His will, He will hear us. Amen? And if we know that He hear us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. Amen? Praise God. So pang 11, fasting and prayer can build up our faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 in the NIV version, And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Amen? So God says He will answer our prayer. As we fasted, no? He will embolden our faith no? by answering incredible requests with many yes. Diba? Talagang lahat, yes and amen. No? He has also built our faith by helping us trust when he, say, he says no. So whatever the answer, we have learned that we can believe God knows what is best for us. Amen? Amen. So our reward is the peace that comes from being fully surrendered to God's control over our lives. Amen? Amen. So the last way fasting can change our life is to express our love and worship for God. Amen? Sabi po ng Luke chapter 2 verse 37, And then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Amen. So fasting can show, as John Piper says, that what we hunger for most, no? 
we worship. Amen? So throughout our commitment for fasting and prayer, we have come to know God like never before. So His grace amazes us that He would call us into His sacrificial relationship where we gain infinitely more than we give up. Amen? God has changed our lives through prayer and fasting. Amen? So are you ready for Him to change your, your, your life? Parang mahina. Amen? So there are practical guidelines for fasting and also reminders. Mabilis na lang po ito. Amen. So do not feel pressure from others to fast in precisely the same way they do. Baka mamaya ma-pressure ka kasi siya nag-fasting siya ng 12 hours. Kaya ako magpa-fasting din ako ng 12 hours. Wag ganun ha. Remember, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and your own conviction. Kaya mahalaga mag-pray ka talaga sa Panginoon. If you have that desire, then pray to the Lord with that divine enablement. Amen? Para hindi ka ma-pressure. Can I hear an amen? Nor should you impose your choice in regard to fasting on someone else or judge anyone for decision they make in this regard. So fasting is always susceptible to legalism. So beware. Amen? Sabi ko nga po, follow the, the, the leading of the Holy Spirit and your own conviction, not someone else. Amen? So let some ways in which you might choose to approach a corporate fast. Amen? So another practical guidelines for fasting, food and drink. No? Sa, sa, pag, sa pagkain po. So this, of course, is the most popular and explicitly biblical expressions of fasting. It too, however, comes in a variety of forms. So you may choose to fast from caffeine or soda or wine or other special liquids that you regularly drink. If you are fasting from cafe, caffeine, no, caffeine, tama ba yun? Tama. Caffeine. Ayan. Praise God. Sabi dito, detach yourself from coffee or sodas. Gradually. Kung dati three times a day ka nagkakape, oh, bawasan mo pa ulit ng isa. Bawasan mo pa ulit ng isa hanggang sa mawala. Reducing your intake over a span of days before you stop drinking, drinking them entirely. Amen? You may choose to fast from sugar or from some sort of food that is irregular. Kaya yung pinapagawa ni Kuya Hari sa mga CYN, huwag kayong kumain ng mga sweet. Biblical pala yun. Amen? Biblical yun. Kaya huwag kayong magalit kay Kuya Hari. So, perhaps you choose only to eat fruits of ba or vegetables. For the length of the fast, refraining from all meat or vice versa. So in the case of both of the former two forms of fasting, you would continue to eat and drink other items to maintain your strength and health. Malinaw po yan, ha? Amen po ba? So first of all, a progression should be observed in your fasting, especially if this is discipline, is new to you, and you are unfamiliar with its physical effects. So don't just start out with week-long water fast. Begin by skipping one meal each day no, for two or two, three. Spend time praying that you would have use for eating. Kaya nga po doon po sa prayer items, meron pong mga, may mechanics po doon, mamimili ka kung, ilan yung, kung ano yung oras. Amen? So second, remember also that there are a degrees of fasting. There is a regular fast which consists of abstaining from all food and drink except for water. In the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 2 to 3, makinig po tayong mabuti no? para alam po natin. Sabi po dyan, after he had gone without food for 40 days and 40 nights, eto po yung sa Luke chapter 4, verse 2. No? For 40 days being tempted by the devil and he ate nothing during those days. So apart from supernatural enablement, the body can function only for three days, amen, without water. Kailangan short period of time lang. 
without the enablement of supernatural power from above, baka mamaya mag-fasting kayo ng 40 days. Amen? Extreme naman. Maliban lang kung talagang you are being led by the Holy Spirit. Maliwanag po ba tayo doon? Amen. Thirdly, a partial fast is when, a, is when one abstains from some particular kind of food as in the case of Daniel while in Babylon. In the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 3, no, 1-8 and verse 12. Sabi po dyan ni Daniel, I ate no tasty food nor did any meat or wine enter my mouth. Ito yung Daniel fast. Pero alam nyo, yung iba dyan, maraming paraan para magkalasa yung pagkain. O, diba, tumatawa yung mga CYN ulit? Amen? And did not anoint, no? And I did not anoint ref or refresh or groom myself at all for the full three weeks. No? In verse 8, sabi po dyan, But Daniel made up his mind that he would not defile or taint dishonor himself with the king finest food or with the wine which the king drank. So he asked the commander of the officials that he might be excused so that he would not defile himself. Amen? In verse 12, Please test your servant for 10 days and let us begin some vegetables to eat and water to drink. Yan po yung partial fast na tinatawag. Amen? So as noted above, a liquid fast means that you abstain only from solid foods. Again, most who choose this path are sustained by fruit, no, and juice, no, fruit juice and the like. Amen. So fourthly, a complete or absolute fast that entails no food or liquid of any kind. In the book of Esther chapter 10 verse 6, Esther chapter 4 verse 16, and Acts chapter 9 verse 9 should only be for a very short period of time. Amen? Ito po yung complete and absolute fast. Meron yung three days. Kahit nga during that time, in the Old Testament time, kahit yung mga animals, nagfasting din sila. Ikaw pa kaya na tao. Di ba? Amen po ba? So, nandyan po yung mga supporting verses. Amen? So, there is also what can only be called a supernatural fast. As in the case of Moses, Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 9, who abstains from both food and water for 40 days, enabled to do so only by, by a miraculous enabling from God. Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 9. Amen. So you may also wish to fast from all food for only a particular meal each day. In other words, you may choose to skip lunch for a day, or two, or a week, or dinner, or even breakfast. All such forms of partial fasting are entirely appropriate. So if you've never fasted before, be aware that in the early stages, you may get, get dizzy. Yung nandun po yung minsan may hilo ka, yung parang nasuso ka ka, normal lang po yun. Amen? So this part of the body's cleansing process and will pass it with time. Be sure that you break the fast gradually with fresh fruit and vegetable. Lalo na kapag kayong long fast hours ka. Ang una mo munang kakainin, prutas. O baka mamaya nakabuffet ka na. <laughs> parang sinulit mo rin yung ilang oras na hindi ka kumain. Tapos buffet. Di parang wala ding sacrifice nun. Amen? Nag-sacrifice ka na nga eh. Amen po ba? So, yun ano, do not overeat after the fast. O yun, baka mag, mamaya, maimpacho ka naman. Amen? Mahirap po yun. So, chili and pizza may sounds good, no? especially the CYN. For several not eating pizzas, di ba? At saka yung may mga chili-chili. No? Learn to say no for a while. No? Kailangan i-exercise natin yung ating pong faith. Especially the CYN or to those who really love to eat chili and pizza. Amen po ba? So how long you fast is entirely up to you and the leadership of the Holy Spirit. So the Bible gives example of fast that lasted one day or part 
of a day. Hindi ko na po babasahin lahat yan, pero kung gusto niyang picturan, pwede rin naman. Amen? Para talagang lalo kang ma-inspired na mag-past. Amen po ba? So it is important to remember that some people simply cannot refrain from eating and drinking in any degree at any time. This is usually due to certain medications that they cannot cease taking and often have to take only after eating. So if you have a unique physical problems that would make fasting dangerous or unhealthy, please do not alter your prescribed regimen of medication or of eating and drinking without first consulting with your doctor. Amen po ba? There is nothing to be ashamed of if you cannot pass in regard to food and drink. Simply choose another way to fast such as those noted above. Amen? Yung mga sinabi ko po kanina. Maliwanag po ba? Malinaw pa po yan sa sikat ng araw. Amen? That's why in conclusion, as Christians, our intentions matter. Can you say it with me? My intentions is matters. Our faith takes light to a level unseen. It is possible to do everything right on the outside, but without the proper heart, it doesn't serve its purpose. Kailangan lang po nating magkaroon ng tamang puso. Amen? Tamang puso. Because if you are fasting to be seen by others as a good Christians, you are doing it wrong. And if you are fasting with a heart that can only focus on the things you love, like food in this case, and not a hunger that drives you into the arms of your Savior to satisfy your needs, you are doing it wrong. Amen? So don't fast for attention or recognition and applause of men. Amen. Pass to draw near to God and rely on Him on deeper levels than you have before. Amen. There is another quotation po from Andrew Murray. Prayer is reaching out after the unseen. Fasting is letting go of all that is seen and temporal. Fasting helps express, deepen, confirm the resolutions that we are ready to sacrifice anything, even ourselves, to attain what we seek for the kingdom of God. And fasting reduces the influence of our self-will and invites the Holy Spirit to do intense works in us. Amen? Remember, the Holy Spirit is with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He will empower us because as the Bible clearly says, you will receive power when the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Amen. Let us all arise in the very presence of our God. And I believe tonight, every words that we have received from the Lord, my prayer is the Lord will increase our faith. Because God wants us to bring into a new level of experiencing Him personally and even corporately. Sabi ko nga po kanina, this is not just a declaration. But the Lord wants us to really experience that tremendous outpouring. I do not know what is your prayer tonight. What kind of tremendous outpouring you may be praying unto the Lord. Remember, our God is more than able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. Our God is all powerful. Nothing is too difficult for Him to do. All we need to do is just to humble ourselves before the Lord. And if you have that increase or intense heart's desire 
to really follow Him, especially in doing this 21 days prayer in fasting, let us just invite the very powerful presence of God in our life and express our heart's desire because God is here and He will meet you personally. It is God who will touch you tonight. It is God who will give you that divine enablement to do the works of God and experience that supernatural power from our God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Let us worship our God and declare of who God is in our life. Who God is. our hands and express our love and worship to our God, the God who created all things, the God that is all powerful. Let us declare His Lordship and His Kingship over our life. Working in this
never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Rainmaker, miracle worker. the best time to make your decision to really commit yourself in this 21 days prayer in fasting as the Lord promised us that He will never leave us nor forsake us His presence will go before us and let us just have faith in God If you have that desire in your heart, just bring it to the Lord and ask for His divine power. If this is your first time, to join in this kind of commitment through prayer and fasting. I believe the Lord will do new things in your life. Just have faith and believe in His words, in all His promises. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Just take this opportunity to surrender your life unto the Lord and commit everything unto the Lord. Just believe that you can do it because God is with you and He will be with you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Even when I oh, hallelujah. you working, you never stop. Holy Spirit, we want more of you. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I to those who want more working, of God's stop, presence, you never stop working. Let us ask for more stop, you from our God. Working. Yes. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even we want more of your presence, oh God, in our working. life. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel that you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Come on, church. You never stop Let us working. declare it with faith. Even when I don't see yes. it, you're working. God is pouring out His Even presence I don't in your life. You're working. God is pouring you out His anointing. You never stop yes. Working. You we want stop, more of your presence, you Lord. We want more of your power, oh God. Yes, Lord, you we want more of you. You You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. Waymaker, mirror, the word, the promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who You are. You are waymaker, mirror, the word, the promise keeper, light in the darkness. Thank you, 
Lord, for releasing, oh God, your miracle. Yes, the miracle of healing, the miracle of restoration, the miracle of salvation. Yes, just receive it by faith. The miracle of deliverance. The miracle of multiplication and fruitfulness upon your life. Yes, just receive it by faith. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For truly indeed, oh God, you are at work, oh God, in our life. unto you our life we surrendered everything unto, the, unto you oh God we surrendered our will Lord and we even entrust to you Lord this 21 days prayer in fasting Lord help us to remain faithful help us Lord hallelujah to finish the race oh God Help us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. To believe in your promises, O oh Lord, in our life. Yes, O oh God. And we entrust to you everything, Lord. And we are claiming for the victory of this 21 days prayer in fasting. And we even thank you, Lord, for all the answered prayers, O Lord, of your people tonight, O God. Thank you, Lord, for all the miracles. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for the press anointing, O Lord, of thy Holy Spirit in our life. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this message, O God, that increases our faith tonight, O God. Father, we honor you, Lord, and we bless you. This is all we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Forever we will sing to our God who will always give us the victory. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Amen. We will always lift up his name and bring him glory for the victory he will give us as we fast and pray. Amen. Let's continue to clap our hands. Hallelujah. declare this I hear the sound and I hear the sound of the generation lifting their voice rising as one and now is the time for your name to be lifted high amen forever we'll sing forever we'll sing of the things you have done and nothing compares to your power and love and now is the time for your name to be lifted high oh, we lift your name we lift your name higher than any name forever we Oh, 
will sing of the things you have done And nothing compares to your power and love And now is the time for your name to be lifted high Or we live
presence, O God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, O God, for we know and we believe, O God, that whatever we ask, Lord, in prayer, O God, tonight we have received it in the mighty name of Jesus. For your presence is here, Lord. For your Holy Spirit, O God, is mighty in this place. Hallelujah. Marami pong salamat, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God, as we Panginoon. Lord, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for the word that we have received tonight, Panginoon. Lord, we know and we believe, Lord God, that you have reminded each one of us, Panginoon, that as we do our prayer and fasting, O oh God, it is the sacrifice of praise and our love unto you, Panginoon, that we are doing this, O oh God, because we want more of you. We want more of your presence and we want more, hallelujah, more of your presence, O oh God, in our lives, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Marai pong salamat, Lord, in the life of uh, Lord Sister Marian de Lazario, Lord God, as you use her tonight, Panginoon, we thank you for her life. May you always bless her, Panginoon. Lord, pagpalain niyo po, Lord, bless the whole, hallelujah, the Lazario family, Lord God, together with uh, Brother Jess and uh, Justin, oh God, may you always, Lord, Lord, bless this family. Ingatan niyo po sila, Panginoon. And whatever their secret uh, petition, oh God, Lord, may you all, Lord God, answer it all, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that you will pour out more of your anointing and power, oh God, sa buhay po ni Sister Marian, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, oh God. Even, oh God, we pray for all our spiritual leaders, oh God, in the life of our beloved Pastor Anna, together with Pastor Andy, Ethan and Abby, oh God, Lord, we pray that you will always give them, Lord, your mighty presence. Ingatan niyo po sila, Panginoon, and we pray, Panginoon, for always good health, oh God, and provision upon their lives, oh God. Even, oh God, we, we pray, Panginoon, sa buhay po, Panginoon, na aming pong West Canada operations, oh God, sa buhay po ni Pastor Amor Adela, Panginoon, Pastor Rani, and their whole family, and our beloved uh, Bishop, Brother Eddie Villanueva, the whole Binalia, Villanueva and Tugna family, so God, Lord, we pray that you will always be with them, protect them, Panginoon, we pray for the holistic health, oh God, and you will always bless, Lord, the work of their hands as you use them mightily, Panginoon, in all the ministry of you that you have called them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Marami pong salamat, Lord, we thank you, oh God, for your mighty presence that we have received tonight. Lord, we thank you, Father God, Panginoon, and we pray, Panginoon, as we remember that you will bless, Panginoon, Canada, Philippines, oh God, and your chosen nation, Israel, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even, oh God, we live up unto you, our services on Sunday. Lord, ikaw po ang manguna at maghari. Let your Holy Spirit be with us, even for all our life groups tomorrow, all our practices, oh God, for the anniversary. Lord, we will be with us, Panginoon, give us the strength and give us, oh God, a, a servant heart, Panginoon, as we all do this, Panginoon, for your glory alone. Lord, receive all the highest praises, Panginoon. Glory and honor, Panginoon. Tanggapin niyo po, Panginoon, ang lahat po ng papuri, pagsamba, sa pangalan ni Jesus, oh God. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.